Hey y'all, Dark Howard Lee here with another video, tips and guides for Assassin's Creed Bahara. And this is going to be how to defeat the boss, the legendary animal uh, called Black Shock. So if you're wondering how to defeat this, um, well, I'll give you a quick tutorial how to do it. Um, I actually did it with the full Raven gear besides the helmet and the hands and the chest piece because I just wanted to show it off because this was actually after I defeat the three witches and got my Thor set gear besides the cloak and I just wanted to show it off for y'all but you can do this with the full Ravens gear set it doesn't really matter and in the long run it's just a little more extra armor I am 137 in this um, fight so yeah let's get into it I'm using the same thing the starter axe is still bronze and the blood wolf shield which you know is one of the, my favorite shield in the game because it has a chance to making your weapon go on fire every time you do a parry right so it's very awesome on that so with this fight you're gonna notice you're gonna need to parry a lot to win this fight or if you know um I, from my last video if you have the ability with the archery which if you look at the bottom left right there the right ability on the archery that's the ability where you can slow down time right if you have that ability you pretty much won this fight okay all you got to do is use that ability with one adrenaline and you could pick up uh, as you can see on the ground you could eat uh mushrooms to get more adrenaline or even your health back right which are a bunch of uh, on the ground you got a lot of stuff to eat to get some health so you you know this fight it's a guarantee to win on your first try or second try i did it on my second try so the reason if i say if you have that ability this fight will be easy um, i didn't do it because i i was still new to the game at this point and i didn't know about the ability yet but um if I and also I wanted to show it off, show off the fight about how to beat him without using that ability, right? That was the main reason uh, I knew about it, but I just didn't know how OP it was. But if you have the ability, just do it. Um, shoot the four spots, and you'll get an easy stun, and then just focus on the boss fight. If you don't, what you're watching, that's pretty much how you fight it. It's very simple. It's a lot of dodging, and you gotta parry this fight a lot. You gotta be careful now that you get him halfway, and especially when you stun him, because he's gonna do uh, doing up to three attacks right there, as you see in the screen, um, in a row, and you you could parry them all, right? But it's kind of be hard. Cause it does not notify you that you could parry it, but you can parry it. So that's something you gotta note that um, even though it's doing three crazies attack, you could parry them, parry them, and you can to get a stun where you can hit him multiple times this fight is not that difficult it just takes time and being patient because he does run away and you got to know about the parrying and just getting his armor down right and just once you get the armor down you it's after that it's pretty much easy and all about not getting at attacked by his jump attack right there but as you can see I, I have the last chance healing if you've seen one of my videos about auto abilities how the must-have skills to defeat every boss that was a perfect example right there. I got hit. I let him die because the last chance and I got to heal. So we're just parrying here. That's the reason I love the Blood Wolf Shield. We get fire on my main weapon to do some fire damage. It works out. Now we're just at one point to parry him one more time. I'm hitting him. So there, there he does the jump. If you want to play more aggressively, you can in this fight by just staying behind him. Okay, every time he charges at you, it takes a minute to recharge, but you're going to need to be careful because he does just the um, on parry attack, right, where you'll get hit easily. So right there, you see, I already got him low. Um, you could have done this earlier, like I said, if you have that archery ability, but it's a no-brainer. This one wasn't that hard. Um, the slow-mo worked there perfectly. So this is what I was talking about. Once you stun him, he can just run away and do a crazy charge at you. And this is where if you have the ability where you could dodge, you just dodge and it's going to slow down time. This is where the fight is guaranteed win. There's no way you can lose it. And we're just doing that. And that's about it. But hopefully this video is pretty helpful for you all guys. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the views I've been getting. And I'll be doing more content, more boss fights on Legendary Animals or just regular boss fights. And hope to catch you on the next one, guys. And let me know in the comments what you think of the, my helpful tips. And like and subscribe, like I said. And make sure you check me out on Twitch, guys. I'll be streaming this game a lot. But catch you on the next one and see you then, guys.